Hey YouTube, this is Gavin. Um, just checking in. Uh, I'm being lazy today. Uh, last night, I really, really did not want to go for a run. Um, I went out anyway, and I pushed um, just for two. I just did a two miler. So uh, it went. It went well with how how like much I was just not in the mood. Um, I ended up. And I was I was holding like a um, somewhere in a low eleven, like eleven. I don't know, eleven ten pace for most of it. <clears throat> the last quarter, um, I'm using an, I've been using the Nike app, so I hit the uh, one and three quarter mile mark, and you know I, I was at like the eleven ten pace. So I just was like, well, let me you know run us you know run harder for this last quarter. So I I pushed. And I was running, <clears throat> and then as I was going, I, like, kind of stepped it up even a little bit more, and, um, <clears throat> I ended up bringing it down from the 11.10 pace down to, uh, um, let's see, what did, it, what did it come down to? I think it came down to 11.01 or 11.02, so then I, like... Um, usually what I do, or what I made myself do, is I waited to hear, you know, the cue of what my pace and what my distance was. And then usually I would stop, and I'm like, well, I'm already going, let me just push myself to see how much further I can, like, run. And I don't know what happens, but when you do, when I do that, I end up being like, well, I don't really have to be committed to this, I already did what I wanted to do. So, um, I did, like, another tenth. But I was going, I was going pretty quick, and I actually knocked it down another, like, uh, five seconds. So I must have been going f pretty quick, because to move, you know, move your pace down for, like, a short run like that, that much, um, I brought it down to, um, like, 10.58. I must have been going at a pretty good clip to bring, you know, bring my pace down. Mm -mm -mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> my allergies are bugging me today. But, um, I don't know, I was pretty happy with it, and I was going to go today on the bike, um, my wife had, has taken the kids to the park, um, to go play with some of the kids from the old neighborhood, so they're, they're over there for the hour, and I was going to go jump on the bike, and I was, like, sitting there, I have, like, a new, um, like, bib, what do I call it, I guess bib shorts, that I just bought from Nash Bar online, and I haven't tried them at all yet. I've had them for, like, a couple weeks, and I just haven't been in the mood to go on the bike. Um, but I have them in there, and I wanted to go try them, and I was like, oh, this is a good time, because later on today we're going over to our church. We have, like, a community day where we open, like, the grounds of the church. We have a big, like, I don't know, probably, like, seven-acre lot next to the church. <clears throat> and they're going to have, like, a petting zoo and face painting and arts and crafts and stuff for the church. So we're going to head over to that. <clears throat> so I was going to do... <clears throat> the biking before, and, but I, I decided that, like, I'm really not in the mood, <clears throat> I actually would have been more, um, excited to go on my long run, my LSR that I have to do this week, but, um, I'm putting that off till tomorrow, since I did run last night, um, I think I'm, 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 like, kind of floating between two, um, what you call it, can't think, Hal Higdon, um, half marathon build programs, I'm, like, floating between two, um, I have the, uh, um, I think the intermediate and then the beginner. I'm like kind of, no, not intermediate one and then advanced. I think there's, I think those are the two. I'm like kind of floating between the two to s decide which one I could do right now. So, um, for my long run this week, I could either do, I think it's either a four miler or a five miler, <clears throat> which it's a mile difference. So I could probably go either way. I just don't want to pu over push myself and injure myself or hurt myself or or just get burnt out too quick. I want to stick with it, so <clears throat> I'm trying to be a little bit more flexible. Um, and as long as I'm building the mileage, um, I mean the long the longer runs are the ones that are the important ones. Um, the other ones are good to keep the the mileage up, and the the other ones build the strength and build the endurance, or not build the endurance, but build the strength and build the I think. Um, just speed you up, and, you know, they're just building that, um, ability to just push, I think, 
I don't know. I have no clue. But whatever. Um, I know that I, the longer runs are where you're getting your, your your brownie points, you know, for when you go to uh, <clears throat> do the run. So, um, and because the, that's the one that's the most important that you do not miss for the week. But, um, so I'm thinking that like a four or five miler, it's not a big deal. Um, it's something I could do. I did a four miler a couple weeks ago, or a week or so ago. So it's not, it's not too far for me yet. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know, but I'm just sitting here enjoying my my raised porch just have all it's like a screened in like slide sliding door glassed in porch you can see it's up on the deck here and um we got a pretty neat, decent yard now we've been blessed with some really nice things and um i'm like i'm just gonna chill i'm gonna have some free kind of quiet time to turn my brain off um <clears throat> and relax and um I eat my oatmeal, I'm drinking my coffee, I was kind of thumbing through some of the YouTube videos, um, I read a, two chapters in the Bible, um, and I, I've been reading, um, <clears throat> what is it, uh, Elkert Toll, I'm probably messing that up, Elkert Toll's uh, The Power of Now, I've been reading that, I got through the first chapter of that, um, <clears throat> and just was starting the second chapter, <clears throat> Man, my allergies. Sorry. So, I was thinking about reading more of that, and, um, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, I mean, maybe I'll just sit here and meditate. <laughs> um, the first chapter is about how we are, are in our mind, and how, um, we are separate from our minds, and our mind gets in the way of our, you know, clear thinking. So, um, because we always, you know, in our mind, we're always evaluating things and, like, trying to, you know, say, oh, well, if I do this, I remember this happened before. Um, I don't know. So, like, even, like, I'm probably in my mind about running. I'm like, oh, so miserable last night. I don't know if I want to go again. Because I'm thinking about last night, but I'm just not, just clearing my thoughts and just, you know, go having at it. And it just, you know, kind of taking it for what it is. So, um... Yeah, I need to start taking things for what they are. I need to just clean up my brain. Um, I, more and more often, ever since I've been reading it, I've been trying to kind of just turn the noise off in my head because he does kind of explain that, like, we just have a lot of noise and, like, our brains are always just kind of ticking, ticking up there and we're always thinking about stuff. And you, you kind of... It'd be nice to just kind of clear that junk out <clears throat> so that we have a clear thought process. So, I need a clear thought process because I can't even think half the time. Um, yeah, so that's what I got going on. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, I guess I'll talk to you later. Adios. Bye.